Hey all, Chris Bassett here. I ran over a screw at work, so I'm gonna plug the hole in my tire. Let's get into it. So I went out to Walmart to get the tire repaired. Most automotive centers say they won't repair the tire if it's on the bead, the sidewall, or shoulder area of the tire. They try to get you to buy a brand new tire, but I'm just gonna repair the hole with a tire plug kit. My tire was cupping, so they said that was the reason. Uh, there you can see the screw is right in the middle of the tire. So the tire plug kit comes with one reamer tool, one plug tool, uh, long plugs, and then rubber cement. I see a lot of tutorials that uh, take the tire completely off. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave it on the vehicle. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to remove the plug material from the protective backing and then insert it into the eye of the plugger needle and then coat it with rubber cement. I'm going to get this all prepped first. That way when I do remove the screw, uh, you know, the air will start leaking out of the tire. So I'm already ready to uh, insert the plug and lose minimal amount of air. So when you do put the plug material into the plugger needle, uh, you want it to fit about halfway in between. The plug material is pretty sticky and it'll leave a residue on your hands. So you may want to have a rag nearby. And then we're going to coat the entire thing with uh, rubber cement. The cap does have a piercing edge. Uh, that you can use to pierce the rubber cement container and then it'll be uh, ready to pour onto the plug material. I think for safety reasons they recommend you deflate the tire because something could shoot out. Um, I'm not worried about it so I, you could wear safety glasses as well if you are worried about uh, contaminants shooting out of the inflated tire. So some other tools you'll need is you'll need a way to extract the screw or nail in the tire so you may need a set of pliers, uh, needle nose pliers, or any kind of like gripping tool. Just be careful you don't accidentally push the object inside the tire. That's one more headache to deal with. So one trick if you're having trouble locating the foreign object is to pour soapy water all over the tire and the area should bubble where the uh, nail or screw is at. This is the reamer tool. We're gonna use that to rough up the tire. Uh, that way the plug will stick. So I, you can see I just used this pliers and pulled the object out. There it is. And then you're going to take the reamer tool and rough up the hole now. Uh, that way the adhesive makes a solid contact. So you just insert the reamer tool into the hole and slide it up and down to roughen up and clean the inside of the hole. Next we're going to take our plugger tool with the plug centered in the eye of the needle and insert it into the puncture until the plug is pushed approximately two-thirds of the way in. Be careful not to push it all the way in as you want some of the uh, plug sticking back out and then we'll trim it later. Try to make sure you pull the needle straight out with a rapid motion and do not twist the needle while pulling out. It's not a bad idea to throw one of these kits in your dash. That way if you do have a flat tire, you don't have to change uh, your spare tire out. I'm going to make sure to throw the kit in the motorcycle because a flat tire on the bike would be really bad. All right, so the plug is in, the air stopped hissing, and uh, now we just need to trim down the excess. So if you have a really sharp knife, a uh, pair of scissors, I have this utility blade. Uh, I'm going to cut through the rubber. It's pretty difficult to cut through and then it's sticky so it's going to leave uh, whatever blade you use. It's going to have some residue on it. Just be mindful here. Uh, try to push away from yourself so you don't accidentally slice your finger. And then whatever little stubs are left over will eventually wear down while you're driving the vehicle. And then the last step would be to reinflate the tire if it was deflated uh, to the recommended pressure and then test for air leaks by applying uh, soapy water to the plugged area. If bubbles appear, then you need to redo the uh, plug. Hey, check out this other video right here. Uh, links in the description to save some cash, so check that out. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments. If this was helpful, hit the like button. Thanks.